Well, in one of Detroit's toughest hours, he has been the mayor for the moment. Yeah, from the onset, Mayor Mike Duggan hit the ground running to battle the coronavirus, setting up mass testing, going into nursing homes, and making sure city workers were as safe as possible on the job. I sat down with the mayor at a safe distance to talk about the response and found out who he believes really deserves all the credit. So we've seen a steady decline in the fatalities and cases of COVID-19 in Detroit. What do you contribute that success to? You know, I think the people of this city have embraced the challenge from the beginning. Detroit was hit harder and faster than any city uh, in the country in the last week of March, the first two weeks of April. But Detroit has responded like we always respond. Uh, they embrace the social distancing, embrace the wearing of masks, and. I've been really fortunate. A lot of mayors in this country have had to go to closing parks and establishing curfews, but the people of the city have really been terrific. While Detroit is still losing lives to COVID-19, the numbers are falling steadily and testing has become more accessible. Just yesterday, Mayor Duggan announced anyone age 60 and older who wants a test can get one without a prescription or symptoms and the test is free. He credits his experience as a hospital CEO for having the know-how and resources to bring more testing to Detroit. You know, I was the CEO of the Detroit Medical Center in 2009 where the country prepared for the H1N1 swine flu epidemic. And so when this came about, you know, this was something that I was familiar with. And the most important thing is you can't stop the spread of a virus if you can't test who's infectious and who's not, and you can't separate them. So. Uh, really from day one, uh, I uh, decided we were going to be one of the most aggressive cities in America in providing tests to everybody. Uh, now we're up to almost 2,000 people a day being tested between our various programs. Nursing homes is an area where we maybe haven't seen the numbers decline like we would like them to. Tell me what you're doing. We went in and tested with the AVID 15-minute test every one of the 2,000 uh, nursing home residents at the 26 facilities. Uh, and we found that uh, between 20 and 25 percent were positive even though they didn't have symptoms. So the problem you had as a nursing home director, you had no way of knowing how to separate folks if they didn't have symptoms. And when we realized the way the nursing home deaths were spreading across the country for this reason, I think we were the first in the country to move in, did full testing. Uh, we're going back through right now, and we're finding about 5% infection rates. And we're seeing that the nursing home uh, leadership is really doing a nice job of following up. I want to talk next about the racial disparities that we've seen uh, with COVID-19 and uh, in particularly some of the Detroit neighborhoods. Is there anything that you would do differently to set up our citizens here in Detroit to, to be in a better position to handle a second wave? Well, I think everybody in the city fully understands uh, that if you're African-American and you get COVID-19, you are two to three times more likely to die than a Caucasian. Uh, and I think that has uh, caused the people of this community to embrace social distancing with uh, a real commitment. Uh, and we would do exactly what we're doing, huge testing, uh, masks being distributed at grocery stores and on buses and in uh, police cars. We're conscious every day of uh, making sure there's not a spark. Uh, but what we've shown is we brought employees back to work and we've now got several hundred employees at work is that our protocols at work are are so medically strict uh, that the employees who are coming to work are actually getting infected at lower rates than Detroiters who are staying at home. I feel really good about what we're doing on the job. Yeah, really turn those numbers around. Be sure to tune in tonight at 11. The mayor opens up about how this crisis has weighed on him and the one thing he sees each morning that really motivates him to do absolutely everything he can to get this crisis under control. He also talks about his future here in Detroit and what city council or city hall, I should say, will look like when it opens back up. That's coming up tonight on Local 4 News at 11.